This is finally here, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Here is the box and as you already noticed Apple got rid of the plastic wrap that used to cover the box. Instead they implemented the adhesive paper tab with a tear off strip to open it and there is no way for the lid to come off the box until the seal is out. Looks like everyone was wondering how they would prevent the packages from opening during the transit and handling. Well, here is your answer. You know it's an Apple product because every time you lift up the lid of the box it will go smooth and the bottom will always stay put. Every time you're unboxing an Apple product it just looks stunning. First thing can be noticed right out of the box is how raised the camera lenses are. I'm not a huge fan of uh, that but looks like uh, year by year uh, they try to extend it more and more. I'm a really huge fan of the flat back, no bumps or anything but you will just need a good case to protect this. The frame is nice and shiny in the gold color but also a huge fingerprint magnet as you can clearly see. It just catches all the smudges and uh, fingerprints right out of the box so um, what's one thing to keep in mind. But that's something not to worry about since uh, most of you and me as well will probably buy a case and use it with a case more than uh, use it without. The box itself it's uh, pretty pretty light and empty and um, of course there is uh, always that uh, Apple sticker that you can stick it to your uh, neighbor uh, car and um, a bunch of uh, stuff the SIM tray pin and uh, the USB-C to lightning I really hope uh, Apple will ditch the lightning connector soon and fit an USB-C is there anything more satisfying than peeling the wrap of the new products well it just feels satisfying right this is the gold color really nice shade of gold on the back glass also the frame has a nice touch as well feels nice and shiny there is no major uh, design changes compared with the iPhone 12 it just feels a little heavy pretty sure that's because of the huge camera lenses and the truth is those are huge indeed this is how it stands against the 11 Pro at the time everyone thought the 11 Pro has too many cameras and it looked weird but nowadays this look it's pretty common this year they released four new iPhones seems like Apple is really trying to think of its users so they can choose which one is right for them they basically provide a lot of options but what I'm excited about is that finally after years and years we will see a smaller notch and a high refresh rate display still the notch will be the first thing you will notice it's still the biggest notch compared with pretty much any other brands iPhone has the best face ID security so I guess there is a trade-off there better security bigger notch but you know I really wanted to see the touch ID feature as well so you can unlock it with the fingerprint since these days pretty much everyone is wearing a mask and face ID can be funky sometimes activation is boring so we are gonna skip this part alright back to the screen and as you can see it comes with pretty much the same apps that you are used to but let me tell you this the average iPhone user doesn't really care about the CPU and the RAM memory but in this model the things that should motivate the buyers to buy this iPhone is the screen it just feels right it's the same display as the last year iPhone OLED super nice and colorful but this year the screen is a little brighter and super fluid which will make the HDR content more enjoyable to watch this is where the iPhone 13 high refresh screen shines the iOS animations that you are used to when you switch between the apps or when you close or open the apps you will notice that everything will feel more natural and fluid I really like this Apple finally align itself with the standards in regards of the display now talking about camera it's not much more different than the previous generation but there is a feature that I would like to highlight and is the cinematic mode basically shifts the focus on the subject that you choose here I tap on the face and then I tap on the leaf and this is the result as I'm tapping on the leaf and then to the face you will see the blur that is uh, coming up now there is a downside to this it only supports 1080p you cannot shoot it in 4k and the blur sometimes is not very good it gives more like a fake effect of a blur so uh, that's uh, one thing to keep in mind
The picture quality of the camera also doesn't disappoint, especially in sunlight. You will get this beautiful uh, contrast and that thanks to the HDR feature. The portrait feature of the camera is also not so different from previous models. As you can see, some parts of the edge of the subject still the blur doesn't look too real. Let's talk a little bit about the battery. Apple claims that it will last 28 hours for continuous video playback. That is 8 hours more than the 12 Pro Max. And you guess that gives you few more hours of use. Of course, bigger batteries come at the expense of a heft and weight. All iPhone 13 models are slightly heavier than the last generation. However, the trade-off should be more than worthwhile as customers have shown time and time again that they appreciate long battery life on their phones. Now the question is, should you upgrade to the 13 Pro Max? Well, if you're coming from two generations ago, like 11 Pro Max, I would say it will definitely worth it, since you will pay pretty much the same price that you paid for the 11 Pro. And the cool thing about it, 128 gig version is gonna be the cheapest one. But if you are coming from the 12 Pro Max, probably you won't feel any difference between those two phones. That's it for this video, if you enjoyed this kind of content, uh, please uh, click like and subscribe for more.